So I wanted to uh, touch base on what we did in the beginning because I think it's really important for people to understand like how you got to come together and jam with people and just like bring some ideas to the table. But we were talking about this thing in the beginning about this A. Turn around to G to D. And yeah. then we had this thing where we went from C to D. Mm -hmm. But I kind of just want to maybe hold down the rhythm and then have you kind of riff off of it for a second. And then maybe uh, we'll go into a little, you know, talk about the slide playing in a second here. Okay. Uh, but dude, I just want to kind of show the audience here like what you kind of came up with on the spot here, which was killer, man. So I'm just going to hold it down on the A here. Another one that went a little bit on the so there we're just playing off the open G and then bending this E back into G to G yeah that's great man those oh. little tiny inflections are, are cool and you definitely have that southern twist on there which oh. is killer well, thank you very much. Is it the water? What's going on? You know. It's the mud. It's the mud, right? Yeah. That's what they say. By the river. Man, that's great. That that is just great. I love those little and you know what that kind of that's what kind of pushes it into the that realm. Yeah. You know, uh, there's like if you play it country wise, you're kinda doing, you know. slow it down and give it the little thing it's got that little you know right. that swing to it That's one thing about all that. You know, Where, how did do, that all come about? Well, a, another really interesting thing about P90s to me was, especially when I was playing through like big amps, like big Marshall mm -hmm. half stacks or even full stacks, with that old guitar, it was the first P90 guitar I'd ever owned, okay. that junior. When I would come down from that to that, I was like, leans up. I was like, oh, all of a sudden, it's like. Mm. Playing country music. Sounds like that other kind of guitar. Yeah, because I was wondering, it's like... And the closer totally. you get to the bridge... And then, you know, not having a neck pickup, you could always use the tone knob, come down to about five. Move where you're picking the string. So it really gives it a fatter. Wow. So just a. That sounded like five different guitars just now. A little bit of difference in where you're making your stand. Yeah. Fantastic. 
fantastic. Because, you know, the first thing you think of is you hear those records and I'm like, oh, it's, you know, this guy's got to be using humbuckers. Yeah. So when I saw they were using P90, I was like, well, you know, I think a lot of us, we forget how powerful the P90 is. It's kind of like an underdog. Pickup. Yeah. 